By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create a health bar which looks something like this. In my scene here, I have my player character as well as two buttons that increase and decrease my player's health. To get started, I'm going to select my player character and add in a progress bar node. I'm going to resize this node and reposition it to where I want it. In the inspector, I'm going to change the max value to the player's max health. For this tutorial, I'll use a value of 10. I'm also going to give it a value of 5 so that we can see the progress. I'm going to make the progress bar look a little bit nicer by going down to theme overrides, going down to style, and adding in a style box flat for each of these options. I'm going to change the background color to be dark gray, and change the foreground color or the fill to be red. I'm also going to rename the node to be health bar. Now that we've set up our health bar in the editor, let's make it functional. To do this, we're going to head into the player script. Here in my player script, I have a variable which keeps track of health and two functions. The first function increases the player's health and the second function takes away the player's health. To set the value of the health bar, we'll first need a reference to it. To do that, go to the top of your script, select the health bar in the editor and while holding control, drag it into your script. I'll create a new ready function and inside this ready function, we're going to get our reference dot value and we're going to set that to be equal to HP. This will update the health bar value when our player is first loaded. However, when the health bar changes, we need to update it again. There are two ways this can be done. The first way is to put this line of code inside of a process function. If I create a process function and add in this line of code, this will update the value of the health bar every time this function is called. However, this is not the best way to do it because we don't constantly need to be updating the value of the health bar. We only need to update the health bar when the health value changes. So I'm going to delete the process function and instead just update the health bar whenever I update my health. I'm going to go down to my add health function and add in this line of code. I'm also going to do that for the subtract function. Now whenever I add health, the health bar will be updated, and whenever I subtract health, the health bar will also be updated. If I now run the scene and click either of these buttons, you can see that the health bar is getting updated. And that's it. If you want to learn how to create this flash effect, consider checking out the video on screen.